I'm Sheila and welcome to my channel. I have decided to start my vlog like this with wet hair and no makeup on because I actually, I guess I'm gonna film myself doing my makeup. Basically, today is gonna be a great day for me. I'm going to a very, very special show, a circus show actually, Cirque du Soleil, with my boyfriend, my sister, and my best friend. It's gonna be a great time. Cirque du Soleil has a really, really special place in my heart that I'm gonna discuss a bit more further in the video while I do my makeup because I'm actually running late and I just want to start off this vlog now otherwise I know I would have forgotten and I'm actually running late like I said so um, I'm gonna start by doing my hair uh, I just washed it and yeah I don't know I think I don't have much time to do anything crazy also I, I don't know how to do my hair like I'm li I literally always cycle between like two hairstyles I think I'm just gonna leave it out today I guess so I'm just gonna put my products in it's no shocker what I use, but I use this um, Jamaican castor oil leave-in by Shea Moisture. Uh, so I put that first, and then after I'm gonna put the curl enhancing smoothie. And that's what I do with my hair, but okay. I am manifesting a really, really good day. Uh, it's, a, it's beautiful outside, and I'm gonna go see one of my favorite shows of all time, which is Kuza. Um, actually, the reason I love Cirque du Soleil so much is because um, my dad actually used to work for Cirque du Soleil, not as like a gymnast, but I'm pretty sure he was an accountant, um, like head accountant or something, I don't really know, but he worked at an office job um, when I was younger. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I thought my dad had the coolest job. And I loved like going to the office and just seeing all the the athletes in their like like outs, like with outdoor costumes and apparently they had really good like cafeteria food, like really healthy food, um, and also really high calorie food for the athletes, um, because obviously they burn a lot of calories. And I don't know. I just I loved it. I would often go to my we would go to many shows because my dad would get discounts and um, I just, I loved it so much. I love, I just love the show that I put on. It's just very, very magical and very funny. And my dad would also bring home DVDs of old shows, like recorded shows that we would watch on the TV. Back when DVDs were a thing. <laughs> um, and so we would watch those too. And one of my favorite shows from these DVDs was Kuza, which is the show I'm watching today live for the first time ever. Um, like literally out of all the shows that I've seen, like, you know, live and concert, is it a concert? Anyway, between all the shows that I've seen live and recorded, Kuza, although I watched it recorded, it was probably my favorite show out of all the self Soleil shows that they have. I don't know why exactly, like I don't even remember the story, but I remember it just touched my heart and it was my favorite and I just really, really wanted to see it live. But um, at Cirque, they, you know, they go on tour, travel around the world with their different shows. And so that was like, the Cruza was like a really old show for them. And they're finally back in Montreal after I don't know how many years, but maybe 20 years, I don't know. But they're finally back here, back to their roots. Um, because if you don't know, Flock de Soleil is based here um, in my city. And I'm so excited to see it live for the first time. My dad got us tickets um, as a present. And I'm just so excited to see it live and also I haven't gone to like a Cirque show um, in a very very long time you know since like my dad used to wear that when I was little so it's just gonna be really like just being inside the tent and just being there is gonna bring so many memories and nostalgia feelings and and then seeing my favorite show of all time for the first time live I am ecstatic so anyway um, I'm literally running late, but I guess my hair is done, like, literally, I'm just putting products in. 
like that's it. Should I put it up like that? It is kind of warm today. Should I like do this? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep it like that and we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Um, yeah, so my makeup. It is so warm today. It's like 30 degrees Celsius. And my top, although it's super cute, it's like up the shoulder and it has these like cute sleeves. I'll show you a better look later. Um, it's not very breathable. So, yeah, I don't know. Should I change? I don't think I want to change. I think it's a cute top for a cute event. Oh my god. I cannot put earrings on. I'm literally running late. Like, oh my god. Uh, why am I like this? It's an issue, for real. I'm gonna do the most basic of makeups ever. Just like, cause, yeah, I just, I look so dead. I went to bed at like 4 a.m. last night. <laughs> Why am I like this? Can someone tell me? Can someone like shake me? Shake my brain? I would love that. Um, I remember one time, I went to one of the shows, like I said, with one of my, with like an old best friend. We don't talk anymore but julia if you're watching this hi i'm sorry i I'm, i suck at keeping in touch with friends but i was with julia and like my sister and like my family whatever um and sometimes the clowns in the show like there's like this like funny clown segment usually and sometimes they will select someone in the audience and like have them be a part of the joke and oh my gosh the anxiety i feel whenever that happens. I'm always so scared I'm gonna get chosen. I mean, usually you choose people in the front, and that time we were in the front, and my friend Julia got chosen. But luckily, like, it wasn't like a big segment, like, they weren't gonna pull her on stage and all that. She just had to stand up and, like, do some weird motion, and that was it. But oh my god, and she was, like, right next to me. And that was kind of cool, because I kind of got to like feel the excitement of being chosen, but like not really, because she was next to me. And it just felt like we were sharing the experience together, although I wasn't chosen. Which was, anyway, we'll see what happens, if that happens to us. We have some pretty good seats again. Let me show you the ticket, actually. Should I make like a thumbnail with this? But yeah, this is, this is the, the show Kuza. But yeah, it's super cute. Okay, I'm going to do my makeup. Now that I'm going to film this, because I actually really have to like... You know, I have to do it quickly and I don't want to worry about my camera dying and stuff like that. So I'll see you after I do my makeup. I'll do like a, a quick reveal thing, okay? So one, two. Oh my god, overexposure. But yeah, that's the makeup. Do I look a bit more lively? I hope so. That was the point. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you my outfit when I'm over there. I'm going to head straight there, but, but yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you out there. stressful yet endearing. It was very stressful yet very nice. I loved it. 
Um, I loved how at the end the guy kept trying again and again yes. to get it right. Yes. It was the first time with my fam and yes. you know, why are you so close of my face? <laughs> Family time. <laughs> Hi, so it's a few days later now. Um, actually, what is it? It's Wednesday and I went on Saturday. So yeah, it's been a few days since I watched the show and uh, it was so much fun. I loved it so much. I was a little bit emotional even just watching it. Um, uh, just because like I said, it has it brought back some nostalgia feelings from seeing shows when I was younger with my family. It was just lots of fun. I loved it. I was in fact late, but not really late. Actually, I arrived just in time, but I was rushing. It was so stressful. I did take some videos near the end of a few performances. I wish I took more, but I was so nervous to film because, I mean, they said to not take photos with flash and to not have like professional camera equipment. And near the end, I saw like the person in front of me was filming. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film too. <laughs> so I took them with my phone. They're not really good quality, but I will show them in this video just so you get an idea of like how it was it was really cool at the end there was this really like epic show of these gymnasts i don't know like trapeze people i don't know their brand of gymnastics i guess but um they were doing this really difficult stunt it ended up being i think like the last stunt of the show. I think he repeated the stunt like three times. The first two times he didn't land like a clean fall and I guess they're very perfectionist because they kept doing it until he got it right and they did at the end and it was just like well first of all I was impressed the first two times but the last landing was perfect like like I said he was standing on like this tall like pole like, he was jumping on a stick. Like, just that. Like, even if you didn't, like, land perfectly straight, like, I'm amazed that you even made it out alive, <laughs> you know? But uh, when he finally, like, got it perfect, the whole crowd was cheering and so proud and everybody started standing up and cheering. It was just such a great way to finish off the show. I don't know, I guess showed us that like, you know, they're humans too and they're not perfect and they're perfectionists and I don't know, it was just... It was nice. I thought it was amazing. Um, if you have the chance to go see the Cirque du Soleil show, I highly recommend it. It's just a really unique experience and it's always a fun time and it's entertaining and I am so grateful I got to go. Oh my gosh, Muffin really wants attention right now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and all that. I'll see you in my next video, which will likely be a moving vlog. I'm actually gonna pick up this camera again today and start doing my moving segment because I am in the middle of packing boxes right now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!